Hello guys, as you can see me in the reflection and welcome into the gaming cupboard for a bit of an unseen because I've recently acquired um, this little bad boy which is a Philips Discoverer. Now I got this from Facebook Marketplace, um, originally it was advertised as free, however because of the amount of interest the lady had in it, um, decided to ask some money for it. So it cost me all of 20 quid um, because I was first to contact her she gave me kind of first refusal on it which is fine um it came with a tv it came with as well the remote control which i haven't been able to test because it takes triple a batteries i haven't got any it is missing the battery cover um now a couple of little areas of damage with this unfortunately um if i turn it around you'll see that on this side it is actually missing the little cover there for the swivel top and on the other side um, it has got this um, square peg um, which isn't rotating very freely at all now on it it did come with one of the side covers it came with uh, this one um, which has got a big kind of crack through the middle there it has got a screw for it I've taken it off um, and when I took it home and found it I actually glued it because this bit up here your focus on it was actually detached and so it was rotating freely on that because obviously it wasn't square it was basically one side broken off so it would rotate on that but since gluing it it's not rotating at all so i'm going to open up and have a look i have also noticed that there is a slight separation in the cover because i've cleaned it up because it was bloody filthy um when i got it home so have a quick look inside because i haven't got many kind of youtube videos that I found on one of these, certainly none on repair. So we will have a look and see what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna do this one handed now. I'm gonna take this cover off, if I can. And we're gonna put this safely out of the way for the moment. And there is the TV itself in all its glory. Now, um, I will show you a video of it starting up and I have given it a bit of a clean because it was filthy you can still see little bits of dirt ingrained in here um, had been in storage for a long time um, so I'm going to flip it over very gently onto its front because it's held in with some little screws we can see there's two there two there um, I've taken some of these out already there's two one there uh, one there and one at each of the top there so i'm going to unscrew those and we're going to have a look inside see if we can figure out what is wrong with this thing and um yeah just see what's in the inside the tv because i don't see very much about it okay so inside the tv itself we will put this a little bit of a shell out of the way now because of the voltage actually going through this thing um i did do a little bit of this off camera to actually go over what was going on because you obviously don't want to touch this massive thing which is the tube or either you or the tv will go bang um, or both is this little thing that was causing the problem now i've taken it out I've given it a clean up and unfortunately some damage was made to it and taken it off because you've got stupid little um, clips, three clips around the edge there and they just will not hold um, while you try and pull the middle bit out. Um, this thing itself does unscrew here and on the other side and inside it, it is just a, a long rod which you can kind of see through the middle there um, on a spring kind of like what you see in the cylinder head of a car it looks very very similar to that in fact um now i've given that a spray up with a heck of a lot of wd-40 in the hope that it might release it a little bit i don't think it's going to be fully as it should because it's obviously there to give some kind of resistance for the hood so you're not slamming it up and down all the time um but it is very very stiff with age if i try and put this on now just to kind of um show you i don't think I don't think I'll be able to move it very easily. 
no i'm actually putting quite a lot of strength into that but at the same time realize that this is only a plastic thing and it is starting to break out of the bit at the top there so i don't know if there's anything can be done to reinforce that um on the other side there's no clip whatsoever that is just a retaining kind of clip to hold it in place and it just swivels on that um the inside is actually very simple um as far as the tv goes you've got the kind of um main board down the bottom which is absolutely disgusting it is covered head to toe in nice crusts of god knows what since the 1980s um millions of dead spiders and webs and everything in there i mean the grime is something else if i can kind of get that to show you um it is next level uh the speaker is just a single speaker out the side um so yeah I, th I thought it would have one both sides but obviously very simple uh the back end of the cases there have given that a bit of a clean up since taking it off it does have some slight it was so slight damage it's not on that part it's on here on the side here you probably can't see that but there's a bit of a crack out there and these screw pegs um just get in there it's that one if you'll focus maybe and the one on the other side were snapped off and been glued so it only had a total of six screws in the whole thing um by the looks of it it should have had two on the bottom um which is obviously there uh two at the side one two at the top two there and two the other side so it should have had um what's that four eight ten screws and it only had um six holding it all together but i think that i've done kind of as much as i can at this point so um we're going to put the cover on put it back together i will show you it all working oh if i can put it back together without damaging it um i'm actually going to shut the camera off for a second just while i do this so i don't cause any damage to it so i'll be back in a moment okay so the tv is now all back together as you can see and i've done a few things to kind of um, give it a tidy up i've given it clean inside um certainly in the back glued in those um screw pegs that were damaged broken off the sides i will need to acquire some new screws to hold it in because i was missing four out of the ten unfortunately so it's kind of held in with one where it should have two on the sides and the bottom uh which is a bit unfortunate now um I did try and fit the bit around the side there. You can see um, this bit back into it. But unfortunately, when I was trying to rotate it, it was just, you could hear it physically cracking when I was doing it. And it's kind of split out a bit more there and cracked up a bit more inside, which is a shame. But um, I'd rather kind of keep the bit and not damage it any further rather than trying to force it and cause further damage to uh, the mechanism inside i don't think there should be as much resistance as there is in that side so um let me know because if you have one of these is it a bit tough i mean it's going to have some kind of resistance there to stop the front screen slamming up and down but it shouldn't be anywhere near as bad as that um now i've set it up just with the um mega drive 2 just to kind of turn it on to show you what it looks like and um we will flick it on i'll turn it on there and here just see, see what it looks like so it's not going to be on the correct channel it's coming it is probably good i think it's going to be on one of the later channels to be fair five or six no number five so there you go sonic and um tails sonic 2 booting up now the only kind of um flickering you see is just on the camera it is actually not on the screen and it is really nice and clear it has actually got the cover on it so i'm just going to put the camera here just so you can see it and i'll rotate up the cover we'll do this so you can see what it looks like when it doesn't have the hood on just turn the volume down a little bit there uh yeah so this is a tv working as you can see it's the color on it is really really good considering the age of it and it would just be nice to see if i can get those bits kind of working see if i can get like a battery cover uh for this remote somehow um a side cap for this left side and just some kind of understanding about that edge whether or not it should be as tough as that to actually turn um 
So if you have one of these or know somebody who does and can answer any of these questions, please let me know. I don't expect anybody to have any kind of spares for a ton of TV at this age, but if there's the option to say, um, get kind of the dimensions of the end cap so it can be 3D printed or something like that, or somebody has a facility to 3D print them, that would be amazing because these TVs are quite kind of sought after and rare and it would just be nice to return it to its former glory really um, fully working because it is a really nice picture on this TV no kind of hissing no no whining or anything from it and the picture does really pop so yeah really really happy to have it um, despite its kind of little misgivings but like I say if anybody knows anyone or can point me in the right direction please let me know and it'd be much appreciated but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. And like I say, cracking little pickup. So I hope everyone's enjoyed it. And I'll speak to you all soon. So bye-bye for now.